In this Zoho CRM demo, I am going to be showcasing all of the features inside of Zoho CRM. This isn't a tutorial, but it's just a run through of all the different areas of the system, including the home page, leads, contacts, deals, accounts. I'll be explaining how activities work and a few other bits and bobs just like that, just to give you a good insight into what the CRM system looks like, whether it be the right system for you or not. Welcome to CRM crew. My name is Nick. Just before we get into the video or the demo, if you are signing up to Zoho CRM for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get into the demonstration. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, the first page you're going to be presented with is your home screen. Now, as you can see here, we have an array of different data sets or information that we can use to judge how our day is going to go, what information we need to know to get our day started. This, all of this data is entirely customizable as well. So we can change any of the views here or any of the graphs like you can see to fit your needs, what you want to be seeing as soon as you log into the system to get a jump on your day and get a head start um, and make sure everything that you need to know, you do know or are being presented with. So you've got the home screen here and then moving on from there, we then have our leads area. We also have our contacts, accounts and deals and I'm gonna kind of tie all of these four in together. So firstly, we have our leads. Now I like to describe leads as a bit of a dumping ground, okay? And that's not in a bad way. Leads is a great place to store data on prospects or potential prospects that you're not entirely convinced are going to become deals yet. So what we do is we put that data into the dumping ground. Let's say they've had an email, maybe someone's made an inquiry. It's really useful to track that information. However, you're not entirely convinced that it is actually going to become a sale. So what you do is you create a new lead. This means you wouldn't have to create a contact account or a deal yet. You create all that uh, information and you store it in the leads area. And if you press the create lead button, you can see we log the first name, the last name, the company, etc., and all of that information. And then once you've created that lead in maybe let's say a week's time, things are looking a, more, a lot more promising and the likelihood of it becoming a sale is significantly higher. Then all we need to do is convert it from a lead and we can automatically convert it to a contact account and a deal. So moving on from our leads area, we then obviously have our contacts and our contacts are literally any contact associated with your business. I think it's really key to store information about anyone that you work with, whether that be suppliers, absolutely anyone, store that information inside of your Zoho CRM system. So contacts, they're gonna look very similar as well. We've got our views up the top here so we can distill and break down all of our different contacts and we can use filters as well. Now, if you want a tutorial on how to use any of this, check out my channel. I've got loads of free content you can have a look at. So that's contacts, it's literally just people. And then accounts as well, this is businesses. So as you can see, businesses always relate or accounts always relate to contacts. So traditionally, when you create a contact, you associate it with an account um, and create an account is literally like adding a business that maybe you work with or maybe is a prospect like we mentioned with leads. So maybe you've created a lead and then you're going to convert it over. So again, we've got our views and filters and things like that. So hopefully this is starting to give you a good idea of what your Zoho CRM system would look like. And then moving on from our accounts, which is like I said, just businesses, we have our deals. Now deals is our sales. This is where we manage our sales, track our sales. We have a sales pipeline where we would convert a lead that is potential into an actual sale. And this is where we literally, we could just create a deal from the off, as you can see, or you can manage it through the leads area. And what it allows us to do is literally, if I click on any particular record, you can see here we have a sales pipeline. And what we want to do is move our sales or our deals through the different stages of that sales pipeline to eventually, and fingers crossed, hopefully close it as one. Or you can close it as lost. This data is then tracked inside of the Zoho CRM system and you can make informed decisions on why, okay, this sale was won, this sale was lost. You can start analyzing that data and I'll come on to examples of how we can do that in this video. So as you can see, we have our sales pipeline here. Now, one other feature we have on our Zoho CRM system 
for the deals area is the Kanban view and I'm a massive fan of this. If I just give you an example of what this looks like, it literally is like all the different stages just broken down. It's a lot easier to look at, a lot easier to manage as well. And it's literally just a case of dragging and dropping different records to the different stages as you can see here as they go ahead and move along your different stages of the sales pipeline. I think this is a really good feature. I think this is a much better way of managing things as well. And Zoho has done a really good job of making it really easy and visually appealing to manage your sales inside of your Zoho CRM system. So moving on from our deals, we have tasks, meetings and calls. These can all be managed individually, but I strongly recommend just managing them from the activities area. So if we go over to our activities, you can see here we've got the Kanban view, almost identical to the deals, but it just breaks it down for customers, open deals and leads and contacts. And these are the things that we need to do for those groups essentially. So these are the things we need to do for our leads and contacts, these for our open deals and these for our customers. Like on the deals, there are alternative views. So we've got our list view as well. And this is where we can go ahead and manage any of our tasks. And that literally includes tasks, meetings or phone calls. We can log any of those and then we can keep tabs on everything that we need to do from the activities area. Like I said, these can be managed from the tasks, meetings and calls area, but I think it's just so much easier to do it from the activities area um, and you can just keep on top of everything. And using the drop down menu, you can again use that Kanban view. Now you can change the Kanban view settings to change it from customers, open deals and leads to maybe tasks, meetings and calls and just break them down that way. It's entirely up to you. But if I go ahead and maybe say, create a new task, you can see it's really simple. You put the subject, the due date, the contact for the task, the account, so who it, who it, essentially who it's associated with, the status, priority, things like that. It's really, really simple. Again, if you need help on creating any of those or want a tutorial on how to do it, check out the YouTube channel. It, it, I will explain everything in many of my videos. Moving on from our activities area, hopefully you're now fairly familiar with the ins and outs of the Zoho CRM system. We also have our reports or reporting function. And this is where we can create or use, if you're on the free version, an array of free reports that, that Zoho CRM provide. Or if you're on the paid version, I'm on the ultimate edition here, we can create our own reports as well. However, the free reports that Zoho CRM provide uh, do cover uh, the vast majority of things you're likely going to want to see anyway. So uh, creating new reports is obviously, or creating your own custom reports is obviously very useful, but... Zoho CRM has been very kind to us and provided um, a, a long list of different options. So generating any report is really easy. Like you can see, you've got the deals area. Let's say I wanna see all of today's sales. Now I can tell you now, there aren't gonna be any, but if you ran the report, you would then be able to see a list of all of the day's sales. You, and that is filtered by the closing date and today. So unfortunately we haven't got any today sales, but if we did, there would just be a list there. So I press the back button, you can see we can manage all of our reports on the left hand side here. And again, like I said, create our own reports. Now we've also got analytics. I think this is just, again, slightly more visually appealing way of dealing with data inside of your Zoho CRM system. So it's broken down for leads, deals, activities, organization overview, things like that. It's, it's very useful just to get, a, and you, again, you can customize this information just to get a really good visual insight into what is going on inside of your business, inside of the Zoho CRM system, break down all the different data, make sure everything is being kept on top of. And you can see this obviously for the organization, leads, deals, activity stats, things like that. And um, again, we can add and customize components to see various different things. So this is analytics, not too dissimilar from reports, just that maybe a different way of looking at things. Now, moving on from our analytics, we've got products and quotes here, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail on all of these. If I press the three dotted button, you will see we have a whole host of different modules inside of the Zoho CRM system. If you're on the paid version, it's gonna be limited to more or less what I've just showed you, but as I'm on the Ultimate Edition, we have got so many different things. A lot of them are exactly what they say on the tin, like products, quotes, sales orders, purchase orders, invoices. They are literally what they say. 
sales orders, products is where you can create products and then manage your quotes and the products and quotes and sales orders and purchase orders all work in tandem with one another. So you can manage all of that really easily. You've got your sales inbox. This is where you can literally manage all of your sales emails in the same place. So let's say you have an info at email address and you just wanna manage all of that inside of the Zoho CRM system for your incoming leads perhaps. That's how you can go ahead and do that. That's the sales inbox area. We've got feeds as well, which is like a, an internal chat or messaging service uh, where you can talk about different records, kind of like Slack, but just on a very, very basic level. We've got campaigns, which is marketing, vendors, which is literally the people that provide the products and then you associate the products and the vendors. We've got price books, so that is pricing on your products. We've got cases and solutions which is a great way of dealing with any problems that your customer may have. So you create a case and you manage that case through the different stages to resolve it. And then the solutions are often literally like written out solutions to resolve certain problems. So you write out a question that someone may have and then you write out the answer and then someone can go ahead and look up or search for that particular solution to hopefully then answer the case and then we can resolve the case. We've got documents, which is uploading documents to your Zoho CRM system, forecasts, which is sales forecasts, and then we've got visits, social, and Google ads. Now this is all to associated with obviously your website. So visits is the, uh, the number of visits you're getting, and it's literally like a Google Analytics just for Zoho CRM. And then we've got social, which is where you manage your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram and things. And we've got Google ads as well, which is where we can manage our Google ads, create new Google ads and things like that, all from the Zoho CRM system. Finally, we've got the My Jobs list, which is jobs that you need to complete, which review process, image validation, maybe the approval process, blueprint, things like that. These are things that you need to do. Now, in case you're not familiar with what any of these are, what I'm quickly gonna do is just go into the back end of the system using the cog in the top right-hand corner here. And then I'll just give you a demonstration of all of the different things that are available. There are so many, so I can't go through them all, but this is what the back end of the system is gonna look like. You've got customization where you customize modules and fields, create new pipelines, different designs and things like that. We've got automation, which is workflow rules, schedules, assignment, case escalation rules, uh, scoring rules. This is just all the various different ways to automate your Zoho CRM system. If you need a more detailed description of what each of these do, check out my YouTube channel again. I know I've, uh, I've mentioned it a few times, but honestly, it's all free content and it will explain absolutely any one of these in case you need to understand it. We've got the process management as well, which is a very useful blueprint, approval process, review process, command center. I must say one of the really, really impressive features is the blueprint feature inside of Zoho CRM. Um, it makes managing leads really, really easy um, uh, to keep on top of, make sure everyone is completing their tasks. So hopefully this has given you a valuable insight into what Zoho CRM looks like and hopefully given you a clear outlook onto whether this is the right CRM system for your business. Uh, I will see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully this CRM demonstration has given you a clear insight into what Zoho CRM is like, its key features, key functionalities, and whether or not this CRM system is the right CRM system for your business. If you have enjoyed the video or it's been at all useful, it would be greatly appreciated if you could drop the video a like, possibly even subscribe. If you have any additional questions at all, you are more than welcome to ask. Just drop a comment below or you can email me and my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.